Ozempic is a drug used to treat diabetes, but thanks to celebrities, a tech mogul, and TikTok influencers, it's gaining attention as a drug for rapid weight loss. Joining us now to talk about the buzz around Ozempic is Dr. Dan Azaguri. He is the Associate Professor of Surgery and Section Chief of Minimally Invasive and Bariatric Surgery at Stanford University. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Liz. So we know what Ozempic is prescribed for, but how is it helping people lose weight? So Ozempic is actually a uh, weight loss drug that was discovered thanks to the weight loss surgeries that we do. When we started doing these surgeries, we uh, tried to understand how people who were diabetic stopped being diabetic within days. And that led to us discovering these new gut hormones and uh, GLP-1 is, is the name, that gut hormone goes up after these surgeries. And people realize that that's why, uh, that's what helped sort of re resolve diabetes and made it a diabetes drug. And as we started using the drug, we realized that at a slightly higher dose, it also helps lose weight in the long run, just like our weight loss surgeries do. It's the same process, it's the same mechanism. And so it's now a weight loss drug. So how does, does it become a weight loss, job, weight loss drug? Excuse me. Is it because it suppresses your appetite? Does it increase your metabolism? What, how does it make you lose weight? So um, all of the above. It doesn't increase your metabolism. It does uh, essentially what patients will describe is a faster sense of being full. Your, the, the, when you eat, things will flow more slowly through your intestines and you will feel full for longer a longer period of time after you eat, your cravings will go down. And so it's a gut hormone that sort of tells your brain that you're no longer hungry. And it's it's designed to be used in the long run to help with diet and exercise. So this is not a miracle drug. This is something that is designed to be used in conjunction to help you stay within the lanes of the diet that you are trying to keep up with. Now that leads me to my second question is that, you know, okay, so you go to your doctor and you say, you know what, I'd like a prescription for Ozempic. I'd like to lose 20 to 30 pounds. I want to get ready for a big event. Okay, so I go and take this Ozempic and I'm also exercising and I'm also in theory eating correctly. Once I go off Ozempic, am I going to gain that weight back or do I have to keep taking it to get the results I want? Yeah, that's, that's an excellent question. The answer is we don't quite no just yet. I think you have to go in with the expectation that you might need to be on this for the long run. And again, this is a, a drug that is designed to improve your health. So overall, patients who, you know, all of our patients who take it have other medical problems like hypertension, hypercholesterol. As they lose weight, these uh, these comorbidities disappear. And so you're starting to take less drugs because you don't have hypertension, you don't have other medical problems. So that's one thing. But um, some of our patients are able to get off of it. There's a process to do that. This is not a quick fix. So if you plan to take it for a big event and then stop, yes, you're gonna regain the weight back. So what are the long-term side effects though? Because what the, this drug is being prescribed to people, I mean, you mentioned in your practice, you're prescribing it to people who have other issues who need to take Ozempic for say diabetes and other more serious health complications. But what about the folks who are walking into doctor's offices and saying, okay, I, I just want to take this and I don't have any of those other issues. Is, are they doing, is it more detrimental to their health to be taking a drug that maybe they don't necessarily need if they don't have diabetes or something like that? Yeah, so I think it's important to, to differentiate a few things. One thing is we tend to turn to use the term Ozempic. The drug itself is semaglutide, and the name of the drug that we're supposed to use is called Wigovi. Just to be transparent, it, it, people tend to use Ozempic because that's the one that's on social media, and, and mm -hmm. it's become sort of this generic term. Um, but Wigovi is approved by the FDA for certain criteria, and so the company has done extensive studies, they've studied this on thousands of people to determine that yes, it was better to use this drug than to use nothing and that the long-term benefits are there in terms of your health. So um, the, the goal here is if you have a BMI greater than 30, we know that the impact on your health is going to be significant and that losing that weight is gonna have a 
positive impact on your health that outweighs the risks of taking the drug. I see. So what you're saying is even though we don't quite know the long term side effects of Ozempic, the people that are getting this drug that really need to lose excess of 20 to 30 pounds for their own health, they're better off losing that weight. That's much more impactful to their health than, say, the long term effects of Ozempic. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And what the other two things that are important is people who come to see us to lose weight have tried diet and exercise over and over again. You know, I, I have never met a patient who came to me and said, oh, I've never tried any diets. Can you can you help me out here? This is something where people have repeatedly tried, lost 20 pounds, regained 30, lost 30 pounds, regained 40. So it, it's been a, a lifelong struggle. Um, and um, the long-term side effects, you know, at least from the surgery side, where we've been doing these surgeries for 40 years and kind of naturally upregulated that hormone, uh, we don't, you know, we don't see a lot of significant side effects. We have had patients on this family of drugs since 2014 now, uh, when the, the first drug came out for diabetes. And, you know, it's practically been 10 years. If there were some uh, long-term side effect, we would most likely know. So, so far, uh, the long-term side effects are really reassuring. Yeah, definitely a hot topic on all platforms right now. Everyone's talking about Ozempic. All right, Dr. Dan.